Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how I screen record, if you guys have an iOS device, how I screen record. So basically, I record by, the, it's not really like nothing, it's like something that's built into iOS, in iOS 11. If you have iPhone 5 slash iPad, for under you can't do this because you can't download iOS 11 because 64 bit device only iPad Air iPhone 5s up you can't so all all I gotta do for the at the time of the recording you can just go into settings of course I already downloaded so I don't have to download it. settings software update and it should be right there right um yeah but for like earlier like a couple months or one month ago you have to go into safari but if you're doing it now you can go into settings software updates and you can just update it for me it took like 30 minutes so 30 20 minutes <laughs> what you gotta do is swipe up notification panel or whatever see this button that's like bright white and the circle thing or red Normally you click on that to start recording your screen you see this blue banner on top and there's a problem With the screen recording so that uh, I'll explain that early, later and also use Kuka Pro for Editing you can't do anything else. No, you can but you like The only uh, editing thing I know is iMovie and Cricut Pro and yeah, you can't use iMovie because you can't like change the orientation no, you can but it's not diff it's, it's different I'll show you guys later so after you record your videos let's say I record my video finished already I go back up click it again and it will say the location came down your video has been saved to your gallery go into your gallery or to check it and then if there is go into Cut Pro. Hold on a sec. I'll show you guys uh what happened if you record a normal video. So look at the the video. By the way, you guys, this is with face cam. You go into MCP add-on maker. Let's create an add-on real quick. You know, name your add-on. Create um. Jana, Nana, and this was with no face cam. So that's what happened if you don't, if you record normally on the iOS built in screen recorder, you can't hear the audio. Even though I did put on microphone, I can't hear the audio. So, what do you do then? You record with a face cam or you can like record your voice and put the audio of your voice you don't need you don't necessarily need face cam just need your audio of your voice so the best thing to do that for me is just put face cam and remember if you aren't like too good at editing or uh, you remember to click the record button on your face cam and on your device at the same time so you, that's that way you have don't, you don't have to like make it to go your voice to line up with the thing, the action that you're doing on the phone or whatever you're recording on. So, after that, I'm gonna just gonna show you an example. Let's say you finish your editing, you click go into create, you go into edit a new video, click this thing plus, click the video obviously if you have. If you record photo, I don't know how you do that, but this is the clip, the 40 minute, 40 second clip that I just recorded to show you guys. The, if you record normally, there's no audio thing, so I'm just gonna edit that real quick. So, I also have a face camera. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't do it, the exporting yet. Uh, I'll leave the link of the app down below that I used to edit. I mean, I used to export videos between device to devices. That's that's how I got face cam. It's called photo transfer. Even though it's called photo transfer, it also can transfer videos, photos, and it depends on how long the video is. If 
let's say the video is very long then it's gonna take longer photo take like one second by the way so let's say you have face cam here i can't hear a thing even though i said something yeah i can't hear you can see the orientation orientation uh is like not correct so but if you're recording in landscape it's even worse it's like squinched up together to make a portrait for some reason and you can't do anything about it all you gotta do is double tap on the timeline here and you have to take these button as a guide and then like swap over like this and then do this like make it smaller to the form factor of the square which is the normal resolution of everything so you do that and then make it as portrait if you want just do this and you know do this but in this case I have it portrait so I'm gonna make it portrait and if you guys have a better thing to do like better like way to do it just comment down below I would like to see it because I want to do it better too so as you can see there's no audio so the reason why I told you to line up the recording clicking the button at the same time because you can add this thing no worries have to like align the things uh, you take the video let's say this is the, the uh, face cam video and then the face cam does have sound this is just a the skippable me thingy I recorded for fun not really like not it's a long time ago you were laughing right here anyways let's say you edit finish all that stuff obviously obviously it's not gonna be like this it's gonna be like fairly the same length so then that that's basically it that's how I do my videos finish that Go to export, export album, and you're gonna go. Yeah, export to album and export your quality too. So, I'm gonna leave this movie real quick. Okay, that's basically all I have to show for the day. And if you want to show, I mean, if you want me to show how I uh, export my videos from device to device please like in the comment down below too i would like to do that but i just don't have time right now it's like nearly it's seven o'clock like the night seven o'clock anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button i uh, will really appreciate that comment down below subscribe and i'll see y'all next time peace